With the brand new arrival of the CN201, today we look at Kawai's new digital piano, the CN201, and we're comparing it against the CA49 from its other digital piano line, the Concert Artist series. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support. We love to interact with you. I like these two keyboards. Well, so, you know, when someone looks at a product line, when they're when you're the customer, right, it's like, okay, I'm looking for something that looks a little bit like a spinet, like an old piano, but I want it to be functional. I know that I need to spend a little bit more money and get, you know, the better feeling keys, the better action. So you usually look in like the two to 3,000 range. And these two instruments fit right on the both sides of that. So they're, they're right there at $21.99 and $28.99. So, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, a span, the $700 span. So what is the difference between these two? Is it confusing that Kawhi, the same manufacturer, has two lines that are right there? Because the more expensive CN is more expensive than the CA entry line. Um, but the CA series is their concert art series, which is really considered kind of their premium digital piano. Right. The CA49 is... Uh... It's a lot like the CN201. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're similar. When you look at the specs, they're, they're, almost, they're almost identical. It's like almost the same sound card. Mm -hmm. The actions are different. Mm -hmm. And I do like the way the CA49 plays better because it has that, I guess, that short deal of the grand action in well, it. Well, grand feel, the compact. Grand feel, yeah. compact. I call it short deal. The grand, short deal, <laughs> short wood deal. keys. Grand what action. does that mean? Yeah. Well, it's just something I can remember no. it. Okay. But it's got wood keys, right? It, it has it has wood keys. And the counterweights are there on the back end of the keys or you know, in the middle of the keys. And instead of simulating a lot of what's going on, it's actually trying to build an action. Right. Whereas on the responsive Hammer 3, which is the action of the CN201, um, there's a lot of, you look at the, at the picture of it, there's a lot of simulation going on and they have a counterweight, but it's in the front of the key and it's, and it's counterbalancing what it would feel like with a longer key. Um, and so it's, it's just interesting. You, you, you look and it's like they both have um, 192 note polyphony. They both have 19 voices. They both have the 17 parameters on the virtual technician, which is you can go through and, and edit every single sound in there. They both have the SKEX sound and that's you know one of the best samples that you can get. Uh, it's their nine foot concert grant from Shigeru Kawai. Um, they both have the EX sound on there. They both have these really high quality sounds. They both have 40 watts of speaker. So you're getting a lot of the same things, but the biggest difference is how does it feel? And what, what, how important is the feel? The feel is, I mean, that's what, here's the thing, feel is important to the target market of these instruments, which mm -hmm. is a developing player or a developed player. Mm -hmm. So you're either going to learn piano close to about the best way you can with this kind of action, or you already play piano and you want this kind of action. And so the CA-49 for me has a really, really nice action in it. Granted, when you go up in the CA line, the actions get, they get better mm -hmm. until you get to that CA-99, which I think is just absolutely one of the best digital pianos on the market. Yeah. Uh, for them. It's a wonderful, been... it's got a soundboard in it. And, and I love that concert line. I mean, that, that product line of concert artists, it's just a great thing. And I started looking at the CA99 first. So as you go down the product line, it's, you have to keep thinking about what is still retained from the, from the top of the line model. And on the CA49, it has a, basically everything and anything anyone would look for if they wanted to have something where they could learn, they can practice, they can take in a lot of literature, put in headphones, be by themselves, have privacy, do all of that, and still have a good sounding piano to play in a room at full volume. Yeah, and you uh, you look at the the brand new release. So the CN two hundred one is is a new a new product for twenty twenty two, something that's brand new, um, and they they basically had updated a lot of of what was in the previous generation, which was the CN twenty nine. Right. And what they upgraded to is what you see in the CA-49. So the CA-49 has been around for three or four years now. Um, and the 49, you know, just great product. You know, a lot of people gravitate towards it because I believe 
if you look at all like the, the piano manufacturers who make digital pianos, it's one of the best priced that has the wood key. Right. Um, so you, you have access to, you know, and what's, what's the big thing about wood keys? It's like an acoustic piano. It has, it has sound quality where the, the keys are going to vibrate. The wood's going to vibrate like it would with, with sound coming back at you. Um, so a lot of piano teachers are like, well, don't just look for weighted keys. Look for something with wood the keys. Wooden keys. Um, and so the CA49 has been a real big home run for Kawhi. Um, and so the CN201 is, is replacing the 29, which is also just a, an affordable entry level into an in-home digital piano that has right. a great a great sound, the SKEX, has a great action, the responsive hammer. Um, but they've really kind of taken what was so good about the CA49. Made it more affordable. But yeah, besides the, uh, besides the action and done it in their CN line. So the CN201 uh, and the, the new 301 uh, are the, the only two in the CN line, but the CA line has four models and it goes all the way up. Um, but you know, Again, just the, the, the biggest difference is going to be how these things respond and how they sound because of the response that you're getting as a player. So we're going to play both of them real quick. Ted's going to play for us. We're going to listen to the CA49 and the CN201, uh, and then we'll come back. We'll talk about a couple more features that are in these units and see if maybe one of them is right for you.
like on the CN201, and this isn't really a comparison to the 49 Comet, it's just that I paid $28.99, I think in 1987, for a digital piano that was an 8-bit machine that had three piano sounds in it. And now this one here is, you know, a third less, and it offers uh, hundreds of times more things. Yeah. Better quality sounds, better, I mean, better action, better play, everything. Mm -hmm. And it's just funny to think that, and about the, you know, what is it, 35-year history of, uh, of digital pianos, and um, where a product named specifically Clavinova marks the entry of digital piano for all manufacturers to where they're going to start competing on it. And then now Kawhi comes out with this thing that has like a perfect nine foot grand piano sample in it. Uh, what are the, a great sample. And mm -hmm. you're getting their top of the line sample inside. Do you remember what the wattage was on your original? Oh, it couldn't have been more than 25 watts. It yeah. was so, so the, if even that. Man, these, it, both these units are 40 watts and it has Bluetooth audio connection. So that's something that you can pair your phone up and be playing off Spotify or Apple Music great or sound system. YouTube. You know, you can just be playing whatever you want and it's playing through your speaker system. You can play along with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's fun. There's not a ton of bells and whistles on these things. It's, yeah. it's really kind of aimed at let's get, let's get what's important, the feel, the sound. And so, you know, deciding between these two, again, there's a $700 price difference. I think the big, the big thing is, am I, is it worth it for me to get the wood keys, to get that feel of a wood action? Um, or, you know, should I look at the CA 59 or should I look up at the, at the more expensive CA series or is that out of my price range? So, you know, the, these two, they're, they're very close in price in the grand scheme of things in that two to $3,000 range. Um, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be a judgment call. A lot of the features are going to be the same. The 40 watts, the sound system, uh, the Bluetooth audio, the recording capability. It's not its not a whole bunch of stuff. Right. Um, but what it, what it does have is important because it, it's... Uh, it's gonna it's gonna get you to where you want to go. They basically took the CA forty nine sound card and made a great entry line new product with it. Yeah. That's their entry line one is the two oh one and they just took everything in the CA forty nine and made it as affordable as they possibly could and it's a great instrument. Yeah, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We will be comparing the CN301 to the CA49 as well. That's more expensive and it's still part of that CN. It's a tougher call. It's that it's that <laughs> beginner line CN series from Kawhi, but it's more expensive than the entry line CA. Um, so make sure you're subscribed because we will be comparing those two as well. Um, and that might be the one that you're looking for. Uh, this is Ted Barcelona and Patrick Moore with Album Music here in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you guys for watching.